This old heart beating has been shattered by the closing of the door. Let's sing this song. Mr. Humperdang, Mr. Humperdang, I'm a big fan of yours. Can I call you Englewood? I said, why not? Nobody else does. <laughs> but you know, people often say, what, what, what do people call you? I said, well, you can call me Ray. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A few people here watch TV, but that's cool. You know, ladies and gentlemen, it, it is a tough name. It really is a tough name. So people say, what do people call you? Well, I'll tell you. My friends say Eng. My manager says Dink. And the girls say Hump. I don't know what they mean, folks. Honest to God, I'm from England. I'm a clean living boy. I read the papers. You know, we've been on the road a long time. And we've been everywhere. North, South, East and West. And I always, but always, I try. I try to do my very best. You see, there are many ways of meeting. Mine, of course, is traveling around the world, getting to know you in your hometown. And as time passes by, to see you again and again is to know you enough to say a friendly hi. Love, soft as an easy chair. Oh, love, fresh as the morning air. One love that is shared by two. I have found in you like a rose. Under the April snow I was always certain love would grow Love, ageless and ever dream Seldom seen by two You and I will make each not a first. Every day a beginning. Spirits rise and our dances unrehearsed. They warm and excite us. Change the 
Here's one of mine I certainly hope you're going to remember. I can remember when you remembered. Hi, Jeff. <laughs> we walked together. <laughs> It's so silly. Waiting inside her eyes. Was my tomorrow Then something changed her mind Her business told me Excuse me <laughs> I was always one for one more <laughs> Waiting inside her eyes What's my tomorrow? You know, Jeff, I've always wanted to conduct an orchestra. Would you allow me the privilege and pleasure of conducting this wonderful orchestra while you sing a few bars of my song? Could you do that for me? Yeah, okay. You feel good about that? You don't have any Vegas throat or anything like that, do you? No. Hope I don't get Vegas arm. <laughs> Try it. There you go. Good luck, old chap. take a bow because he sang extremely well. Yeah, yeah. You know what this means? This means I gotta work twice as hard now. You know, I'm gonna have to take my coat off and get it. This thing off here. The pants are next. <laughs> oh, 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 forgive me, I forgot. Honest to God, I forgot. I thought we were 
uh, doing the Late Late Show over here. I don't know. But ladies and gentlemen, did, did Dick Capri tell you about the accident? Did he tell you about the accident? <laughs> Well, everything's all right, honest to God. Everything's just fine. I just broke the fire hydrant just a little bit at the top. That's all, I tell you. Start the music, Jeffrey. Get this song on the road. So even when I'm done, you will never be alone. You have my love. No in your love with me is like Christmas Eve. To a child of five years old, who's watching while it's snow. How can I repay the joy you bring to me? I don't know all the way. So darling, will you take a You will never be alone. You will have my love. Barry Valera. Come me to you. I love that you're going to cling to all the time. Don't stick anymore. <laughs> Everything's just fine, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I didn't mention this earlier on, but the gentleman that was on just before me has been—he's been traveling with me for about five or six years. A great talent, Mr. Dick Capri. How about a big, big hand? Him? No, Dick, you don't have to come out of the wings. You stay right there. Stay right where you are, Dick. He always wants to come on stage. <laughs> he's such a ham, but it's okay. I keep telling him. He's my number one man. <laughs> What's lower than one? <laughs> no, but we have, we have a great relationship. We really have. You know, we have sort of a love-hate relationship, you know. He loves me, and I hate him, you know. <laughs> it's just teasing, it's just it's teasing, teasing, teasing. No, really, honest to God. No, really, the, he also said to me, he came out to my dressing room just now, and he said to me, he says, Ange, that's me. He says, Ange, he says, I love to sing. I just love to sing, but I don't know what to do with my hands. I said, Dick, put them over your mouth. <laughs> we just tease, we just tease about things like that. But he's a wonderful guy. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to do my latest single, which uh, I had the pleasure of recording in New York City. And I aired it for the first time on the Dick Clark Show. <laughs> it was written by the same people who wrote after the love, and I certainly hope you like this lyric because it is a beautiful song. More than a ripple, less than a splash, the air to a long line of glory. Give me the morning, and I'll give you a song. It's so good. Part of the story. There's 
this moment in time This right time of day Oh, I love being with you And watching my life at play My love in your eyes Is light in my dreams And the feelings you choose Have touches of blues and greens They're stripping to time This timeless embrace And like a kid in a store I'll always want more to taste And no matter what comes I know the sun is gonna shine Because It's so good being part of the story. This moment in time, this right time of day. Oh, I love being with you and watching my. and Richie Adams wrote that song. Did you like it? Ah, just checking, just checking. Oh. Just give me five minutes, I'll be all right. I'll tell you, Dick Capri is absolutely right. Once you hit 32, it's all over. Thank God I got six years to go. <laughs> now, he's right about one other thing. I tell you that. The knees do go first. First the right knee, then the left knee, then the weenie, <laughs> and you're shot. <laughs> you're shot. Get, 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 get away from me. Damn, proof flies. Not big they are. It's down the road a piece. What's the matter? Lost your way? <laughs> well, that's not unusual. Anyway.
Ladies and gentlemen, I certainly hope you don't mind, but little Humpy, that's me. Little Humpy would like to rest his little bumpy on this stooly wooly over here he worry. <laughs> that's Humpy Wumpy Talky Walky. <laughs> Sit yourself down, boy. Sit down. No, please, please, it was my pleasure. Excuse me, no bra. <laughs> I couldn't find a crossy what's it, I don't know. But ladies and gentlemen, the reason why I sit down at this particular point is because I've been singing continuously. And if you want to know the truth, I'm tired. But I'll be all right in a minute. I just got to catch my breath. <sighs> I'm fine. <laughs> You know, I was up in my room last night and there were some girls banging on my door, banging on my door, banging on my door. Finally, I got up and I let them out. <laughs> I was tired, I tell you that, I was tired. <laughs> you know, I've been, talking to, I've been talking about ladies coming up to me and saying, you know, asking me things, one thing and another. Well, I want to tell you, this particular time, a gentleman came up to me. It was by the elevator and he said, Mr. Humperdinck, he says, I am... A man without love. Every time I embrace my wife, she says, please, release me. He said, after 25 years of marriage and after the loving, am I that easy to forget? I said, don't worry, old chap. I just recorded a new song. Who cares? I didn't like her anyway. No, please, please, please. I do have one more, which is a cutie pie story. This really is a cutie pie story. This is cuter than I am, honest to God. This is cuter than I am. I really... Anyway, this is, a, this is a good little story. This is, about, this is about a bishop who sends a priest to Alaska for six months. And after three months, he gets kind of concerned. So he says, I think... I think... <clears throat> I think I'll be going up there to Alaska to be visiting with Father Bob. See how he's getting on. So he goes up there and he says, Well, Father Bob, how are you getting on? He says, Well, to tell you the truth, Bishop, they both spoke alike. <laughs> so I like that so much, I'll repeat that. He says, Well, Father Bob, how are you getting He says, Well, to tell you the truth, Bishop, I'm doing all right. But if it wasn't for me rosary and me two martinis a day, oh, he'd be going crazy. He says, By the way, Bishop, would you be liking a drink right now? He says, I don't mind if I do. Is it Rosary? Would you be fixing the bishop a drink for me now, please? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, now I feel kind of left out, so I'd just like to hop over the piano and get myself a little drink. It's a couple of hops, no skips. <laughs> and here it is. <clears throat> I like to bring this drink on. I, I don't drink as a rule, but as a habit. <laughs> I would like to propose a toast, folks, okay? Here's to Eve, the mother of our race, who wore her fig leaves in the proper place. And here's to Adam, the father of us all, who was Johnny on the spot when the leaves... Oh, I'll let you finish it. But... Thank you so much for being here this evening, ladies and gentlemen. You're beautiful. Good health and God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Jeffrey, I have to cover this up, you know, because the fruit flies go zip, <laughs> and they come out saying, it's not unusual. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I do have one more little story, and then I'll carry on with the show. This one, this story happens to be a classic. It's the piece de resistance of what I have to say upon this stage. <clears throat> it is a classic. Please listen carefully and observe. <laughs> This is about a man who had a wonderful tan from here upwards and from there downwards. But he wanted his entire body tanned. So he went back down to the beach, something like this. I wish somebody would knock on my door. And he lay in the sand, something like this. And he covered his legs up with sand. And he covered his body up with sand, his arms, his nose, his face, and his fingertips. And the only place that was exposed <laughs> was a little white piece in the middle over here. Along comes an old lady with a stick, singing. And 
e figlio mio tutte e due mamma mia pensaci tu oh mamma ti ci sto che bacalà It's a country song I recorded many years ago. Take the ribbon from your head, shake it loose and let it fall. Lay it down to get my skin. Like the shadows on the wall Come and lay down by my side Till the early morning light All I'm taking is your time Say help me make it through the night Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to meet some of the people that travel around the world with me. I could term, I do term as the backbone to whatever I do on the stage. And I would like you to meet them one at a time. First and foremost, my lovely ladies over here.
about a big, big hand for my ladies, folks? Aren't they beautiful? And on drums. Tony Savage. Tony Savage, the savage man himself. On drums. Thank you, Tony. And on lead trumpet. Rich Cooper, I'm Lee Trumpet, folks. Thank you, Rich Man. Hit on bass. Don Hermans, ladies and gentlemen. Don Hermans on bass and guitar. All right, Don. Director and arranger is next, the gentleman responsible for all this music, who is a fine, fine musician himself. And quite recently, a great singer. <laughs> we just kid on about that, but he's getting good. Ladies and gentlemen, let's pay our respects to a great talent, Mr. Jeff Sturgis. Hey! show wherever I go I always do this next number I get to meet some of the ladies from the audience pardon me my dear it's your birthday today and you want to help me out a little bit come on and let me take you up on stage come on darling is everything all right okay that's good come over here sweetie would you would you would you sit yourself on that little cross over here I just love long dresses <laughs> I've got long arms <laughs> Wonderful. <clears throat> okay, let's take somebody from this side, okay? You want to help me, young lady? Come on up. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Hi, big fella. <laughs> Sit yourself down over here, could you? Thank you so much. That's fine. Are you nervous? Oh, I am. Honestly, honestly I'm nervous. Stay away from my window Stay away from my back door too I Disconnect the telephone line Come on baby, let's draw that line You got the shoes, I sit right down I Loosen up that pretty French gown Let me pour you a good long drink Oh baby, here comes Hopper Dinker I forgot we were on television. <laughs> Angel, my heart's on fire. Don't deny a little hump is desire. You'd be a fool to stop this time. Yeah, baby, I'm qualified. Cause two nights and nine, yeah, it's gonna be alright. I love you, girl. Don't lay one on me.
job you got there. Don't say a word, my virgin child. I can't sing a song like this on stage. Where did you get this song from? Got it from the Lion Tamer here at the MGM. First time was just a rehearsal. This is a take, folks. <laughs> Hi, you were terrific, honestly, guy. You were terrific. I really loved it. Thank you very much. What's your name? Jackie. Jackie. Jackie, you married? No. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I do appreciate the fact that you came on stage to help me. Where are you from, Jackie? Los Angeles. You're from Los Angeles. <laughs> Strange. <laughs> Pardon me? Most. Most people live in Los Angeles, yes. Yes. <laughs> she said most people live in Los Angeles. Are you here by yourself? <laughs> Took a long time to answer that question, folks. Jackie, I do thank you for coming on stage and helping me. I'd like to give you a token of my appreciation. Thank you. Just a little token, just so you can remember. May I tie this around your neck? If you don't mind. Can I? <laughs> Color suits you, really. Thank you so much. Give the lady a big, big hand for coming on stage. Thank you. We'll help you out. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, where are you sitting? You've forgotten where you're sitting. Hey, Jack. Oh, she's a big girl. Anyway, the one on the left kind of scares me a little bit. So I'm going to have to protect myself in the old humpadink way. <laughs> I used to use a piano, Jeff. But tonight... <laughs> uh, I'd never make a good tamer, I tell you that. <laughs> I got tangled up with my handkerchief. Ah, uh, thank you so much for coming on stage and helping me. You were terrific, too, honest to God. No, please sit down. No, please. And how are you? And what's your name? Faye Holton. Say again? Faye Holton. Faye Holton. Are you married, Faye? I was. <laughs> <laughs> Help, Lord. Faye, is your husband in the audience? No. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> hey, Jeff, what does it mean when they tickle the palm of your hand? <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> it's a good job your husband's not here, right? <laughs> but I do thank you very much. May I have one of those handkerchiefs, please? Thank you very much indeed. Can I give you one of these? Talking to my thanks. Thank you so much. One side of the shoulder, baby. <laughs> I'm trying to fill in this side a little bit, you know. <laughs> Give this lady a big, big hand for coming on stage. Thank you. Thank you, Faye. Happy birthday, Faye. Yes, Happy birthday. One more. Thank you so much.
It's so hard to explain everything that I'm feeling face to face. I just seem to go dry. Cause I love you so much that the sound of your voice can give me high. Thanks for taking me on a one-way trip to the sun. And thanks for turning me into a someone. So I sing you to sleep after the loving. I brush back the hair from your eyes. And the love on your face is so real that it makes me want to cry. And I know that my son isn't saying anything new. Oh, but after the love and me, I'm still in love. And the love on your face is so real that it makes me want to cry. And I know that my song is the same. Anna, would you sing this for me, please? Now? some of the songs in my life. January the 13th, 1967, this song came along, thank you, Lord. Please release me, let me go, for I, I don't love you. Her lips 
So the years went on, and on, until 1978, until this beautiful song came along. We're gonna build a home from stone instead of steel, our love will make it real, it's a cottage town. We fill the fireplace with logs and crackling sticks. We lie near by the bricks as we hear the drills and rain. But till we build that home, we lock our bedroom door. Make plans and love within this one room made by four. I'll never ask for money. I'll only ask for more, and as all lovers do, I'll turn and say to you, we are the last of the romantics, reach it for love before we lose it to the past. That, of course, was a time, a time to remember. Thank you very much indeed, my darling. Thank you. It's very sweet of you. Thank you very much.
Yes, dear. Pardon me? You've been trying to get one of my handkerchiefs for years? Could you hold this for me, please, Jeff? Well, we're going to take care of that right now, okay? Okay? Pardon me? Say that again. 2,000 miles from Houston, Texas, again, to try to get a handkerchief. Now, be careful what you grab now. That's all I ask you, okay? There you go. There you go. There you go, baby. Thank you. <laughs> I got another one. <laughs> I'd just like to take a minute, ladies and gentlemen, to introduce you to a gentleman who has popped in to see our show. As a matter of fact, this is not the first time he's been to see my show. I'm delighted. And I, as a matter of fact, I find it a great compliment that he keeps coming in to see my show. He's a great, great superstar of the big screen and television. Tully Savalas is in our audience, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Terry. Thank you.
dressing room. I heard your applause. I came straight back. I want to tell you you've been terrific this evening, and, uh, and I especially thank you because, you know, we've had television people in to, to do the show, and I certainly hope that you've enjoyed the show. But I'd just like to do just one more song, which sort of tells the story, a story that I'd like you to hear. You see, the life of a performer can sometimes be very lonely. But your presence here this evening and the way you have received me has touched me emotionally and most sincerely. For which I have no real, real way of thanking you. This next song tells the story of a traveling man. Wake up, my love, beneath the midday sun. Alone, once more alone. This traveling boy was only passing through, but he will always sing of you. One night of love beside a stranger's smile. As warm as I have known A traveling boy And only passing through But I will always think of you Take my place out on the road again I must do what I Yes, I know we were lovers, but a dream to discover. Cause time will only tell So nobody 